everyone, and welcome to, is Hold it? On. Let me get the, uh, there it goes. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our Facebook Live uh, Music Monday, or Music Mornings. My name is Miss Alicia. I'm going to be doing class today. Uh, so every class, we're going to start out with a welcome song, and it's going to go like this. jumping feet and turn them into big dinosaur stomps. For this one, we're going to stomp, 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 hello, stomp, hello together. Stomp, 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 hello, stomp, hello together. Great stomping feet, everybody. For our next song, we're going to turn our stomping feet into walking feet instead. And we're gonna walk around in a circle with our walking feet. And we're gonna go, let's all go walking, Heidi Roo. Oh, let's all go walking, Heidi Roo. Oh, let's all go walking, Heidi Roo. Oh, let's all go walking, Heidi Roo. Then, on our next time through, we're gonna change from our walking feet to our bouncing feet, which are like our jumping feet, except we're going to keep them on the ground, right? So you can either keep bouncing around in a circle, like this, like a bunny, or you can bounce in place. I think I'm going to bounce in place. Let's all go bouncing, hi de no, let's all go bouncing, hi de let's all go bouncing, hi de no, let's all go bouncing, hi de then we're going to take our bouncing feet and change into flying wings. We're going to go back around in our circle. Let's all go flying, hi de no. Let's all go flying, hi de Let's all go flying, hi de no. Let's all go flying, hi de You can fly out like this. You can have 
big wings that flap. You can have little baby bird wings that you have to flap really, really fast to stay up. And for our last one, this one's really tricky. We're gonna keep going around in our circle walking, but our walking feet are gonna start going backwards. So we're gonna show me your footprint. And you know how we look at our own footprint? The walking backwards means that our footprint is out in front of us. So be really careful, make sure you glance behind yourself so that you don't run into any of your friends or your furniture. But we're gonna show me your footprints, Heidi Root. 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 All right, friends, are we ready with our walking feet first? All right, let's go. Let's all go walking, Heidi Root. Facebook. Welcome, friends. Oh, so in this class with Miss Alicia, we're going to cover a lot of different things. We're going to do some singing, like we just did, some dancing, some moving around, but we're also going to learn some stuff, too. So we just took our walking feet, right? And walk is one of the first words we're going to use when we talk about music. Walk is going to be for our quarter note. Quarter note is one beat. What is a beat? Well, you all know what a ruler is, right? A beat is kind of like a ruler for music. It helps us keep track of the time. So, beat. One beat, quarter note. We'll keep adding on every week, a little bit every time. We're also going to talk about and look at some very famous people throughout music because History is important. One of the very influential people, composers in music, is Johann Sebastian Bach. I'm sure you've probably heard his name at one point or another. He's very famous, especially in the music world. Um, piano players are still studying him and learning him. Um, just about every musician, I think, is. And that's who we're actually listening to right now. So, I want you to look around yourself right now and find anything that you can use as a rhythm stick. So, if you have pencils or pens or any sort of toy, even if you don't have anything, you can just use your hands. And we're going to listen to this song by Bach from the beginning again, and we're going to find the beat together, and we're going to play that beat. All right? Ready? Let's start it over. Good job, 
everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause with your rhythm sticks. Now, if we look forward a, a few years, just a few years, we're going to look at Bart Howard, who is also a composer. He wrote a, oh, a handful of songs or so, I'm sure. He was born in June of 1915 and died pretty recently in 2004. And we actually have a musical guest joining us today. So let's welcome Mr. Aaron. Mr. Aaron is going to play for us one of Bart Howard's um, most famous ones. I am. Who's Bart Howard? What, did he, what, what song am I playing today? Well, he, he wrote a song that became famous by another artist, which is actually really common. Um, the artist that made it famous is Fa Frank Sinatra. You know, Get out. Frank I know who Frank Sinatra, Sinatra is. What song? Frank Sinatra wrote all his songs, I thought. Oh, no, he did not write all of he his songs. He did not write all of his no. songs. No, uh, okay. Bart Howard is actually the one credited to writing Fly Me to the Moon, right? Oh, that's, oh, you know, my music says that right here. I should have looked at the music. Should've music is filled music. with information. It's it got, sure is. Oh, and there's beats in my music, too. There are beats. Are those quarter notes, Mr. Aaron? There are quarter notes. Can you guys help me out at home by playing the beat while I play the song for you guys? Do you see all because of the quarter I notes? I love this song. Whoops. Gotta hide the other song or I'll get confused. All right, so our beats at home will go about at this pace, I think. So one, two. So, do, we're going to 
Do a fist like this down by our waist to show that we're singing low. Do, re. Yep, and we're gonna raise our hand just like this, like it's coming up like a ray of light. Me. Me. Good job, boys and girls. Me, we're gonna hold up just like that. So today we're only gonna learn do, re, me. So can you repeat after Dylan? Ready to be his echo? Listen first. Do, re, me. Do, re, me. Great echoing at home! Good job, everyone! Me, re, do. Me, re, do. Great singing! Re, re, re. Re, re, re. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, great echoing, everybody! Mr. Dylan is going to be helping us every week as we start putting together all of our um, notes in solfege. So on Thursday, we're going to be meeting again at 11 o'clock, right back here. And on Thursday, we're going to talk about shakers. So I brought some of my shakers from home to show you. I've got a whole bunch of different sounding ones, I guess different weighted ones. So we have everything from soft. Little bit louder. Little bit louder now. Little bit louder now. Little bit louder now. And all the way up to my extra loud. So these little guys that I have with me today are called egg shakers. They're very handy for when you're playing music because you can just hold it play it with your wrist. But we're going to be talking lots more about that on Thursday. I want to make sure you guys have what you need at home, though, to really enjoy the lesson with me. So from home, what I'd like everyone to do is, with your help from your grown-ups, find a container that you can close. So something like a Tupperware container or an old pill bottle, or you could even use a toilet paper roll. I know we're all scrambling for toilet paper right now, but that means that there should be some empty rolls around to use, right? And if you use a toilet paper roll, we just have to close up one end and we're going to fill it with something. So anything around your house um, that makes noise, things like beads or rice or beans. Um, sand. Sand. Sand will make a really soft sound. Um, so if you don't want to wake up, um, anyone in your house, definitely sand or sugar or salt or something light-grained like that. Um, beans are definitely a great option. Rice. Um, get creative with it. I want you guys to really have fun with this. Make yourself a shaker that you can use every class for a while. Um, so decorate it and submit your designs to our Facebook page and we'll go ahead and feature some of those awesome designs on our Thursday show. So I can't wait to see what you guys have or what kind of shakers you guys make. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you all on Thursday. Uh, we will play a song to uh, wrap this up together. Mr. Aaron and I will play some Riptide as a preview for next week um, and how we'll be using our shakers in class. Or sorry, preview for Thursday and how we'll be using our shakers in class. Miss Alicia, how often are these classes? Oh, these are, um, that's a great question. These classes are every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Are they always going to be on Facebook? They are not. We are doing two of them on Facebook Live. Just to get us going here, it is a new class. Um, so just Tuesday and Thursday of this week. But the class will be continuing then 
um, throughout probably throughout the summer, I'd imagine. And what are we? What, what's you? What's happening through the class? Is it going to be through Zoom, right? Through Zoom, I believe. Through Zoom. Yes, but if you're interested in taking music lessons with Miss Alicia, uh, definitely get in contact with the Music Compound. We would be so happy to have you in any of our classes. Um, if you're an older um, parent, mom or dad, or grown up, or um, maybe just a little bit older in, in grade school or high school, um, and you're interested in learning an instrument, also come to Music Compound, well, online, because we can't go anywhere right now, but uh, check out our website. We do virtual lessons right now, and it is going really well. Mr. Aaron here is one of our um, instructors for instruments like guitar and drums and ukulele. Um, and we're always looking for more students to help learn music. And online lessons are so much fun. They, they really, really are. are. They really are. So, with this song, I want you guys to try to find a beat at home. Right here. virtual lessons now. See you all soon. And submit your shaker designs to our Facebook. <laughs>